ceramic this um, is very versatile you can put it on the grill you can put it in the oven you can put it on the stove and you can put it in the microwave right now I have a chicken breast and I've got a little bit of Indian mild curry rub and then the crushed peppercorn and garlic rub I'm gonna season a little bit of the chicken with it and then a little bit of three onion rub just to get some flavor because I like lots of flavors and then I'm going to open this one because I haven't opened it yet. And sprinkle a little bit of it. My husband's not a curry fan, but he's going to try it. I love it. So just a little bit. And so I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to put the lid on. And I'm going to stick this chicken breast in the microwave. I'm going to do it for 12 minutes. Yes, you can cook chicken in the microwave. So while we're doing that, grab my seasoning over here. This is our veggie spiralizer. So with this, I'm going to I'll just cut this one in half. And here, you can take this off and you just pull the little. And you can do smaller ones. Or you can do bigger ones. I'm going to do a little bit bigger ones. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the big ones up top. I'm going to slide it in here. And then I'm going to tighten it. I'm going to tighten it in there. Turn around. And so what I'll do. So the top here has these. And you're going to want to make sure it's in there. So I'm going to pull this up. Make sure it's all the way up. Stick this in here. Try to center it on there. Right here. I'm going to push this down, and then just cut it in. And, you can see, coming out here, we're going to have some veggie noodles. And they'll keep going and going. Let me put it on the board over here. And, like, I have one of those. It's a handheld. It's called a veggetti. And... Um, you end up not being able to get all of the veggies in there. Like it, you waste a, a big chunk of whatever vegetable you're using. Whereas this, you pretty much use all of it. So with this, I just chop the yellow squash in half. So I've got some yellow squash going here. And we, we can use the other side, and I'll show you how big the, uh, the veggie noodles get with that with the other one. So, grab the way, put them all in here, because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with these later. These, put them here. all out there. Careful with your fingers. There's sharp stuff in there. So what I'll do is I'll lift this back up and show you what the other one does. I'll see if I, of course my hands are wet. There we go. Loosen it up, take it out. I'll put the other side in just so I can show y'all what the did I put the same side in? I did put the same side in. Yeah. There we go. Okay, so this one I'll just put and see this is all we were left with right here. So this one I'm gonna have to cut a little bit off of that I think. Put it on there, push it down, and this will be the size of the smaller noodles. So 
So you can see the difference in the size of the noodles depending on what you're wanting to cook. So now I've got a butternut squash too that I'm going to put in this. And the most important thing, and it's really, really hard, so I didn't even do it on camera because of how difficult it is. Of course, most people know that butternut squash is hard to peel, but unfortunately, it's better if you do. So I've already done that off camera so that everyone can not have to sit through me almost cutting off my finger again. But I'm going to use that with the larger noodle side. It's not going to fit, so we're going to cut it in half. Use my big dangerous knife. Butternut squash in there, push it down, and I also have some zucchini that I'll use. Look at those! Some nice butternut squash. Look how long they are. to do with them, you'll see as soon as that chicken is done. And the chicken. So if you want to come closer and look, pull it out. Chicken is fully cooked in the rock crock in the microwave. So now what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to take this chicken and set it aside. Let's see here. Put it right here for now. in the microwave and take it out and you can come and look at it. There it is. Now I cut open the first one without y'all watching so I'll cut open the second one just so everybody can see that it's done all the way through in the microwave. 12 minutes. Now I'll take our other chicken breast and put it in there. So here's where it gets special. So we have our Pamper Chef salad chopper here, if I can get that. There it goes. So this is the salad chopper. However, if you want to look in here, we also shred chicken. And so what I'm going to do, I'm going to shred this chicken and put it in a bowl. If she wants to see all right show her that. We can show her these videos later too. You can shine it in there. So you shred the chicken very easy using a salad chopper. Amazing isn't it? shredded now. I'm going to put it in a bowl. 
from just a quick Tupperware bowl. One of our bamboo spoons. No. And we've still got a little bit of flavoring from that chicken and the spices on the bottom. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dump all of our noodles in there. And some people will add carrots, some people will add um, onion. I like onion. I'm not against onion. Onion's my favorite, but. I don't think I have much room to add much else. So what I'll do, I'm just gonna take about a fourth cup of water. And add that to that. Create a little steam with some flavoring. I'm gonna stick this in the microwave for about, get some of that flavoring off the spoon. And I'll stick this in the microwave for about four and a half, five minutes. I'll do five minutes since it's full. And it's going to steam those noodles. And then I'm going to mix it with my shredded chicken. And I will show you all the end result. Go ahead and pause it. And off. Open it up. We've got some nice steamed vegetables. Mmm. So I'm going to put these, we have our little stone here, but I'm just going to take these and put another one. Try to evenly take them out here. And I'm going to chop some of these too with the salad chopper because the noodles are so big. And it doesn't matter because I'm about to mix the chicken in too. So I'm going to put some of that in there, and then I'm going to dump some chicken. So I'm going to use, I'm just going to do this for now because I'm going to make more later, just so you can see. So I'm going to stir this up, and you can put butter in it if you want to, but if you're a more healthy eater, maybe add a little bit of olive oil, any kind of seasoning you want salt, garlic salt. So right here you have some amazing chicken with some steamed butter squash noodles, butternut squash noodles, zucchini, and yellow squash. And I don't know about anybody else's kids, but my life, my kids love noodles. Although sometimes I can't trick them, but sometimes I can. So I'll just add some more seasoning in here. I'll definitely add some salt because my husband loves salt. And I know this is old school, but um, it's my old Pampered Chef. They've got newer ones now. Nice little pretty silver ones. And then I'm going to toss it up. And you know what? I may even dice up some tomato and add it in there to give it some color and a little bit more flavor. But that right there, the veggie spiralizer and the rock crock. And you have, in just about 20 minutes, a very healthy, flavorful dish. And you can just dip it and go. There, I'm done with you. Taylor, I'm doing the fundraiser. So I'm going to teach you a little bit. We have our um, one of our platters here. It's a stone platter. It's one of the glossed ones, but you can still stick it in the oven just like a stone. Um, it's very easy to clean. And what I'm going to show you is how we're doing a little bit of baked brie. I thought I had my oven on. And apparently I didn't. Yeah. So what I'm going to do is I put the brie into the freezer for about half an hour just so it's easier. You can leave the rind on. But if you don't like it, some people don't like it, you can easily cut it off. And the easiest way is just to stick it into the freezer. Because if you want to cut it off and um, 
you do it without it being frozen, a lot of the times you'll end up taking a lot of the cheese with it. So, and then using my Pampered Chef knife here, and it's very easily, if you want to get on this side of me, um, so they can see kind of how. There you go. And so it just, it's very easy to just, the knife just cuts it right off, so. Just cut a little bit off of the sides here. Shaves it off. Wherever you see thick spots, you can just Juliet. Juliet. Just cut these off. And I still cut a little bit off. That's my fault though. Maybe I can get some of it back on. Frozen, so it's kind of frozen cheese is fun. So this way, just cut it right here. And these knives are awesome and sharp, so I'm trying to be extremely careful. There we go. I'm getting there. I'm getting somewhere now. So Brie is fun to work with, obviously. Oh, I just kept with the knife. Like I just said, that it's a little sharp. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the white down so it's in the middle of the Brie. Of course, my Brie's all nice and messed up now. But what I will do... So now I'm going to stick the Brie onto our entertainment platter. Um... um Go back to the platter set. So this is the entertaining platter. Um, there is a smaller one, and then there. This is the larger one. So these are. I'm gonna put the brie aside. And now, um, usually, I get one of the big long French baguettes for like two ninety nine at the store. Um, but I'm gonna be quick this time, and I got the pre cut up ones. And all you need to do is take um, some olive oil, and I got some in my jewelry. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take the, we have our silicone brush here, and I'm gonna brush some olive oil on the bread, just really lightly. dip it and get like two at the same time and it's fairly quick and this is a good quick easy thing like um, I've done it for people coming over um, just to hang out I uh, took it to a Halloween party who wanted you know they were like oh everybody bring a dish or whatever and this was so quick and so easy and there wasn't any left so I know people liked it um, and it's virtually painless because, well, so unless you're like me and you cut your finger with a knife. Um, so we'll take this, finish these off. I don't know if we're going to need any more than that for just us tonight, but um, just rub a little on there. Of course, I have Mr. Fly helping me. Um, so you just want to come over and put all of your bread in and this platter it's glossed over and it's smooth um, but you can still stick it in the oven which is right up my alley because you just take it right out of the oven and it's ready to serve. I can put a couple more on there. 
And then if we eat them all, we can always make more. Because I have the smaller dish and I can just toast some more bread on there. So I'll put that in there. And what I'm gonna do real quick, I'm gonna make a little bit of a sauce to put over the brie. So I'll grab my little pepper chef bowl here. And mustard it up. A bit of mustard and some honey, which is not good. I think we'll open it real quick. And put some honey in there. And then we'll take our spoon over here. We'll just stir that all together. And some people will add some brown sugar and then you can stick it in the microwave and like melt the brown sugar a little bit. I, for me, I think the honey is fine. So you just pour that over the brie. You don't need to add much of, I maybe added two tablespoons of mustard and then like two tablespoons of honey. Put that over there. And then what I will do is I have my oven set on 350 and I'm going to put it in the oven for 10 minutes and that should melt the brie and toast the bread and we should be good to go we'll put our timer on start okay come on so the timer just went off and I am going to take the I'm going to go ahead and take that brie out. Oh, I dropped. Pause. Here we have some melted brie. Let me get a spoon real quick. Kind of show it off so we can take this right here. It's nice and oozy and melted. That on there. Not too hot, but really good. Didn't pause it. Mm. 